And now, your first Alert 5 weather. We are live on News 5, downtown Colorado Springs. It's a nice night out there. We've got clear to partly cloudy skies from the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame all the way south to the World Arena. Current temperature 57 degrees and no wind to deal with. Live in downtown Pueblo, that's Union Avenue right there. Skies are clear and there's just a tiny, skinny, little mini moon out there. It was a new on Monday. Just a sliver of a moon after the newscast. You may want to go hunt for that. Just look off to the west. Very pleasant in Pueblo right now. No wind and 61 is the current temperature. Friday night in CC, let the good times roll. But wear your jacket. The current temperature up there is 47 degrees. All right, we had some pretty good rain across parts of Colorado Springs this afternoon. Northeast side of town did real well with those thunderstorms that rolled off the hills, rolled right across El Paso County. And right there, parts of Pueblo County and Custer County had some good rain as well. Those thunderstorms formed over the wets, moved across the wet mountain valley, the Greenhorn Valley, dumped some liquid gold. Very beneficial precip in some areas. In Colorado Springs, here's what we did. Platten Powers picked up about 18 hundreds, and the big winner, Briargate almost a half an inch of rain just this afternoon in a very short period of time. Now for your Saturday high pressure filling in, going to have more of a downslope flow. And what that will do is scour out a lot of that low level moisture. That's the fuel for thunderstorm development. The big story tomorrow, temperatures anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees warmer. So it really will be a nice day all across the viewing area. Humidity values start out pretty high in the morning, but once that downslope flow kicks in, that'll scour out a lot of that low level moisture. So you can see by mid afternoon, humidity values only into the teens, so thunderstorms will be a scarce commodity tomorrow. We'll start with sunshine during the morning hours. Look for these clouds over the hills to push across the I-25 corridor during the afternoon. I think if we see any thunderstorm activity, they'll be out across the far eastern plains late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Most of us stay dry here in southeastern Colorado. Pueblo, nice day today. Rolling those sevens, 77 the afternoon high temperature in the springs out at the airport. Five hundredths of an inch of rain today. Official high temperature 68. That's 10 degrees cooler than where we should be this time of the year. Outside right now, updated temps here on News 5 at 10. 40s across some of the higher elevations, 50s and 60s across the rest of the News 5 viewing area. We'll be mostly clear and calm overnight tonight. Low temperatures very comfortable for this time of the year. And tomorrow, if spring is your thing, you're going to love it. You're going to want to be outdoors. As a bonus to those temperatures, no wind to deal with. A very light breeze during the afternoon, anywhere from 5 to occasionally 10, maybe 15 miles per hour. I hope you have a great weekend. Here's that super seven day forecast. Breaking out the day planner. I know you've got plans. The weather will not slow you down no matter what's on the agenda tomorrow. Another great day on Sunday. Maybe you want to take the bike to Garden of the Gods for a spin around the garden there. A little bit of a pattern change Monday into Wednesday of next week. More low level moisture and some good energy, some good lift in the atmosphere, especially Monday. Monday and Tuesday could see strong to maybe severe thunderstorms. Right now it looks like Tuesday kind of jumps out at me as being the day standing the best chance of seeing severe weather across the area. In Pueblo, that weekend forecast belongs in the Weather Hall of Fame. It just does not possibly get any better for this time of the year. I've got you down for a few thunderstorms Monday into Tuesday. Some of those thunderstorms by Tuesday certainly could pack a punch, maybe some hail. That's why we're going with a three on that storm impact scale, then drier and warmer by next Thursday and Friday. Canyon City, you get a double dip this weekend, sunshine and warmer air. Thunderstorms in the mix Monday into Tuesday, along with a little cooling trend. And for Woodland Park, it's going to be a gorgeous weekend up there. Monday through Thursday, I've got a thunderstorm in your forecast each day. As always, this time of year, be aware of that dangerous cloud to ground lightning. When you see lightning, hear thunder, get indoors as quick as you can. Robert